This one time at band camp. Okay, so this one time at a gig, we were in this European city. I won't name which one. I won't name the person I'm talking about. I won't name anything. So one time when we had had a gig in this European city with this band, and let's call him John. John, I need to remember that. Yeah, let's call him John. We had just finished a gig and it was John's birthday. We were three people who had opted to go home early the next day. Smarty pants, smart asses, big brains. We had a flight to catch like super early in the morning. It was like seven o'clock. It left at seven o'clock. So we had to be up like five and we finished a gig. It was way past midnight and yeah, it was John's birthday. Why am I talking like an old lady? Initially, we had agreed to go home after the gig, or not home, to go to the hotel after the gig, just get a couple of hours sleep, and then meet in the lobby and go to the airport together the next morning. And Josh, no, John, John. And John was the one who had an Uber app. Me and this other person did not have the Uber app, so he was the one who was going to uh, call or to get an, <laughs> I'm 80. He was the one who was going to like tap into the app thing and you know, get the, get, get the car, get the chauffeur to come pick us up. He was the Uber fixer. Anyway, so since it was his birthday, he was like, mm, yeah, maybe, maybe I should party a bit, you know. Ooh. Cause there was a lot of food, a lot of drank, a lot of everything going around, so. Uh, no, there was a lot of food there, like great atmosphere, music, it was outside, it was a beautiful, beautiful venue. He just wanted to enjoy it for a couple of hours into his birthday. So me and this other guy, we go back to the hotel, but before we do, like we make sure that we're still going to the airport, you're still gonna get us the Uber and get us home from this European city far away from home. But we all agreed that, yeah, we're gonna meet at this time in the lobby. We're gonna keep our cell phones on so that if one of us doesn't wake up, we just call and it's all good, right? And he was like, yeah, 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 I'm very responsible. I won't get drunk. I, I'm not tired, so yeah, I'm, I'm really good at waking up early, you know? I've been a musician for years. <laughs> so I got back to the hotel. I had something to eat. I think I have a picture of it. I'll insert it here. I got maybe 30 minutes of sleep because it was a really cheap hotel which I'll get to later because that's sort of a good thing but also ultimately a bad thing so yeah I got down to the lobby at the time we had agreed upon we were waiting I mean we were a bit early but then the time came and John wasn't there we just gave him a couple of minutes but then nothing so I tried calling him no answer so I got nervous and I ran upstairs to where I knew his room was and I knocked on the door and this is where we get lucky that this was not a fancy hotel because it was one of these, they didn't have like a key card, it was these normal, normal keys, like old keys, you know, the one that they catch in Harry Potter, that kind of key. And he didn't lock the door so I actually got in, I was like, okay I want to I want to respect his privacy, but also I really want to get home. I want to get to the airport and go home to my doggies and my man. I went over to him and I sort of like gently like, I tried saying his name first, like John, 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 wake up, John, John, wake up, John. And I tried to like gently nudge him in the shoulder, like John, John, wake up. And there it was like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm awake, I'm awake. We have to go to the airport. We have to go now, we're late. He was like, yeah, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. So I went downstairs, just laying on his bed. I think he even had his shoes on. But I just gave him his privacy to like get his stuff together and come meet us. So we waited. And it was like, where's John? And I tried to keep my cool, but my other coworker, he was like, Oh my god, if he doesn't come down, no. I had to go back up. The door still wasn't locked, so I got in. And he was sleeping again. So I was like, John, John. And this time I was careless. I was like, mm, come on, wake up, John. We have to go to the airport. I'm gonna stand here. You have to wake up now. And so he was like, Ugh, really confused, but I got him up and he was really slow, but I got him up and I got him out of there. And there was this uh, like a little mailbox that we had to deposit our key into before we left because it was a cheap hotel there was no lobby so there were no people there <sighs> which 
we'll get to. He was supposed to deposit his key in this box and it was a flight of stairs up from where his room was. So I told him, you have to deposit your keys. So he went there and he didn't find it. And then he went like up a floor above that. And I was like, no, 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 there, there, come here. Like, <laughs> so we deposited his key. We got out. He was gonna call the Uber. No, he was gonna... What do you, what do you say? He was gonna get the Uber on his mobile thingy and he got the Uber and then he realized I forgot my bag. So he's, he's like looking all confused and then he's like, I forgot my bag. I was like, what? I forgot, I forgot my bag. And I was like, we don't have a key. We deposited our keys. We don't have a key to get back in. There's nobody in the lobby, nobody we can call. So I tried calling the other guys in the band, like if they were inside, maybe they could open up for us so he can go back and get his bag. Nobody answered. So I was freaking out a bit inside, but the other guy was freaking out more. John was way too groggy to do anything. So I tried to ring the, the bell to the, it wasn't a lobby, it was, I guess, an office they had. So I rang the bell to the office. This was like, four or five in the morning somewhere. <laughs> so I rang the bell. I had to get someone to get us in there to get his bag. But if we weren't to get in, I don't know. We would have to leave, I mean. Suddenly someone answered, like this tired, poor Spanish woman answered like, si. Sí. And I, in my very broken Spanish, had to explain to her what had happened. It sounded something like this. Buenos noches, dias. I think ultimately she just, she was too tired. She didn't care what I said. So she just buzzed us in. He got his bag. We got to the airport. End of story. But yeah, it was wild. Thank you for watching. If you watched this far, drop a pink emoji. You're the real OG. Subscribe if you haven't. Because then you're like really the real OG. So subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Love you. Now